Would I rather fuck or be fucked by Marilyn Manson? Hmm. I'm stuck in a third degree Cause you put your hands on me my name is Alberto, I am the drummer, and the opinions that I'm about to express do not represent the opinion of past, present, or future employers. My name is John Burns, and uh, I play guitar. My name is Freya, I'm bassist. I'm Krista, I am the lead vocalist of Gita Red. Violent Sex EP, it certainly wasn't as professional of a process. We kind of did it ourselves. I think we really, really had a lot more time to work on different material, digest the material, and really have a very conscious discussion about what we wanted on this album. I think a lot of the songs that you'll hear on this album are more mature. Okay, Steve, we're ready. We're in Chicago, Illinois, right now, recording at Steve Albini's studio. The reason we chose to work with Steve specifically is we had a long discussion about the sound we wanted to create and the type of album that we wanted our first album to be. And when you look at the body of work that he's done, a lot of it really, really overlays with the sound that we wanted to generate. So it really seemed like a very natural fit. This record sounds pretty much like a live performance, and I think that's also the advantage of coming to Albini. Everything being here is so the space sounds in a particular way. You don't really see that love or that attention to the craft anymore. Like in between your gonks, there's a whoop whoop, like a sort of a, just a, a slight howl or a loose string. Uh, I hesitate to say anything about it because I don't want it to, I mean, it's a slightly ignorant perspective, but uh, I actually thought it was kind of awesome. I was listening to it to see if that was some special technique because I thought it was kind of awesome, it had this kind of like accordion in and out quality, yeah. like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Albini's process is all analog. There are no computers, there's no Pro Tools, there's no auto-tune, there's just the band and the microphones that he uses. I got to use these great old vintage microphone. I felt like an Ella Fitzgerald type. The mic was so art deco and cool looking. You're really gonna enjoy. Give your hands, give your hands, take off your hands, give your hands, give your hands, take off your hands, give 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 your which was so much fun to see. He was so fast. He'd like, he'll slice a piece out of the fucking tape and slice it together, and you're good. You're now the song is fixed. And those start erasing at the center of that head. So. And then you'll hear that cymbal crash, and it'll cut off abruptly. And that's the spot where the talking is. We call the album Fuck It because the experience of the album was one big attitude of fuck it. This is our music and we're gonna just do it as well as we can. Fuck it, we're not gonna be scared to play the same thing over and over as perfect as we can. Fuck it, fuck you who's yelling at me through your headphones. <laughs> fuck it, it's hot, It's I have to look at you people for five days. I oh, wish I had some alone time, but fuck it. Okay, we need to just do that over. 
when you go and say, oh, I'm not the drummer, you're the drummer, that shit is completely yeah, unnecessary yeah. and way over the line. Oh, did this process generate any friction? Yes, it did. It was brilliant. Uh, <laughs> there was a great fight between Beto and Freya. Our Beto, so he was in the one room facing us and we, the three of us were in this other room and they started going back and forth and nitpicking on one small part, yelling at each other and John and I just stayed in the booth and I said, John, just turn around. We just turned our backs like cowards. <laughs> I don't understand why we're fucking changing songs now. We're not. We did months and months of repairs. Grandparents say it. Fuck you. And little kids say it. Fuck you. The album artwork is great. It's really fucking cool. It's very visceral. It's very sexy. It's dirty. I didn't know that album cover was in my head until I saw it and then I thought, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That, that's perfectly it. The chord change in this let's let's that part. The da 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 that part. That's the bit where it went sour. Okay. The gon 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 part, that was all fine. Okay, got it. Are you uh, but you should play along with it if you can. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Slut is what other people think a woman who expresses her sexuality however she feels comfortable with is. What did you just fucking call me? Don't you ever call me that. I'm not a slut. Somebody could think I'm a slut. But that doesn't make it real. A slut is a you problem. It's not a me problem. You calling me a slut is not a me problem. That's a you problem. That's what I think a slut is.